And welcome back to Viewpoint. We're talking about expedition inspiration today with breast cancer survivor and mountain climber Diane Hughes and expedition inspiration executive director and mountain climber Haley Malapi. Haley, so how did this all get started and, and how long has it been around? You bet. So in 1995, a mountaineer um, from Ketchum, a woman named Laura Evans, um, had gone through breast cancer treatment and found that climbing a mountain and climbing climbing a mountain and fighting breast cancer were one of the same. It was one step at a time. And so she and another mountaineer, Peter Whitaker, climbed Mount Concagua, uh, the highest peak in the Southern Hemisphere, with a team of breast cancer survivors. And that's kind of what hatched the idea. What was her idea for it? Was it? She just felt that climbing a mountain and breast cancer very, you know, it was one step at a time, getting through treatment, and she just thought that the survivorship of getting other breast cancer survivors on mountains um, and raising funds for breast cancer research could could lead us to a cure. And all these years later, it's still going strong. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't end with um, climbing Grand Teton. So, right. Diane, what's the plan for next year? So the plan is Mount Rainier. Yeah. Summer 2020. Um, Peter Whitaker has agreed to take a group of us. So he's coming back. And he's with the coming, 25th anniversary. Yes, then, right? and he spread Laura's ashes on the top of Rainier in 2000 after she passed away. Oh, really? So it's really special that he's agreed to take us next summer. And have you already started, um, you know, assembling the team? We have. Um, Laura Evans' niece has a. Um, expressed interest in going with us mm -hmm. and we had a post climb party and we were kind of trying to gauge people's mm -hmm. um, interest. And so the ladies that you went with to Grand Teton, are yes. they all planning to give this one a shot too or some of them? Uh, some of them are thinking about it. They're thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> so now we'll that see. they know what it took to get exactly. to the top of this exactly. one. So and we'll I feel like, isn't Mount Rainier a volcano? <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> when detail will... Uh, not, not we won't on. talk about <laughs> that, that too much. Um, would you encourage other people to, to get involved, to, to do stuff like this, maybe even if it's not expedition inspiration, but to push themselves to, you know, to get back out and challenging life? I would. And like Haley said previously, um, we're thinking about um, smaller local mm -hmm. Um, get-togethers, hikes. Um, there were, I have a lot of friends who, again, are in different stages of their recovery and would like to get out on a Saturday morning mm -hmm. for an hour or two and not 13,000 feet. <laughs> right. So we're going to try to expand our programs. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah. And to have the different levels for, for different people and depending on their health exactly. as yes. well. Yes. yes. So ladies, thank you so much. And congratulations thank you. Too thank you. for Thanks making for it to us. the top. Thank that you. That is so cool. Yes. And um, we'll be following the next time. Good. Awesome. I mean from down here, not actually <laughs> right, right. following you up the mountain. But thanks again for coming in today. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it.